All right, so let's pick up on problem seven, asking which of the following statements is not true of the correlation R between the lengths in inches and the weights in pounds of a sample of brook trout. The brook trout, I assume that's some sort of fish. I'm not a fisherman, but that's what I will go with. So um, A, this R must take a value between negative one and one. Well, that is true, that's how it is measured as a value between negative one and one. The closer to zero, the less, the weaker it is. The closer to one or negative one, the stronger the correlation. R is measured in inches. Um, it's not true. So, okay. So, um, even though we're talking about the lengths of these trouts in inches, correlation is not a, a unit of measurement. It's just a number. It doesn't measure feet. It doesn't measure, you know, um, weight. You know, pounds. So, um, well, our answer is B. Then B is not true. Now let me just go over C, D, and E just to review some things. C. If longer trout tend to be tend to also be heavier, then R is greater than zero. That would be um true because um that would be like a positive correlation. So like you would have a trend line going like upwards. Um, D, R would not change if you measure the length of the trout in centimeters instead of inches. Again, um, it doesn't matter what the units are or what, what, what units you measure like the X and Y variables as. R will not change. That is also true. And then E, R would not change if you measure the weights of the trout in kilograms instead of pounds. Same thing. It's not a measurement of units. So um, um, D and E would be the same. It would be true. All right, number eight. When you standardize the values of a variable, this distribution of standardized values has mean zero and standardization one. Suppose you measure two variables, X and Y, on each of several subjects. You standardize both variables and then compute the least squares regression line. Suppose the slope of the least squares regression line is negative 0.44. You may conclude that. Okay, so um, the regression line, or, or yeah, the regression line typically will have a form Y hat equals A plus BX. B is your slope. B is also equal to the correlation R times the standard deviation of Y over the standard deviation of X. Now, since the, 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 the values of the variable are standardized, um, you know, basically, you know, follow the you know, perfect normal curve or not necessarily, but I mean, you know, center at zero, standard deviation of one, that sort of thing. If you remember from like unit two. Um, so then if they're standardized, that means X, Y, the standard deviation of Y and standard deviation of X are both one. So this is just R times one over one. So then if the slope is negative 0.44, then B is negative 0.44 or negative 0.44 equals one times R or R is just negative 0.44. And so then the answer would just be E. And nine. There is a linear relationship between the number of chirps made by the striped cricket, by a striped brown cricket, and the air temperature. At least squares fit of some data collected by a biologist gives the model y hat equals 25.2 plus 3.3x, where x is the number of chirps per minute and y hat is the estimated temperature in degrees. What is the predicted increase in temperature for an increase of five chirps per minute? Okay, so notice it's saying predicted increase not predicted value, meaning that we just wanna see how much it would go up by, how much would Y go up by if you increased X by five. So to find that you just do 3.3 times five, 15 times one, so 16.5. So it, it would increase by 16.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, it doesn't mean that the temperature would be 16.5, it just means it would increase by 16.5. The answer is B. All right, number 10. Yeah, look at this. Um, 
tracker. The data set include the number of people per television set and the number of people per position for 40 countries. The Fazin screenshot below displays the scatter plot of the data with the least squares regression line added. So here. In Ethiopia, there were 503 people per TB and 36,660 people per doctor. What effect would removing this point have on the regression? Okay, so we're talking about 503, 36, so we're talking about this point right here. So think of this as like a weight. Like um, it's you know a force of gravity. It's pulling the line towards it. So Again, think of this line with kind of like a, like a seesaw, maybe being teetered towards that point. If this was taken away, you know, this line would drop. And it would, again, center of gravity may, maybe around here. And it would tilt, you know, back, maybe not that far down, but it would tilt more down. Be, this would fall down. But this side would come up again, like a seesaw. So the y-intercept would become larger, it would increase, and the slope would decrease, because you know, it's lower. The slope would decrease, y-intercept would increase. So yeah, the answer is then you see. And again, think like, uh, at, think um, conceptually, think like it's a weight. All right, so that takes care of the multiple choice. So I hope those explanations help. Let me know if, um, you know, if, if my explanations were actually good or, you know, maybe I could clear some things up and, you know, do a better job, you know, feedback is welcome. I'm, I won't be offended. Don't worry. I'm a teacher, but, um, you know, I mean, you know, pop, you know, productive criticism and let me know if there's what else you guys would like to, know. you know, go over and subscribe. I see you next time.